What I want to talk to you about today is respect. I've been thinking a lot about respect recently. And it seems to me that we all want respect. We all want to be respected. We all want to be treated well by other people. But we don't all want to respect other people. It seems to be something we want to get, but we don't want to give. We can see that all over the place, can't we? We can see it on social media, the way that people talk to each other. We even see it in our own politicians on the news. We even see it in our own school and in our own community where people damage things, there's vandalism and graffiti and people don't seem to respect other people and other people's stuff. It seems like we're all quite selfish. We want respect, but we don't want to have to give it. And my question is, is that the best way to live? I don't think so. Why don't we head back to my study and we'll talk about it. Come on. Right then, respect. What does it mean to show respect? Well, respect means we value the people and property around us and show this with our words and our actions. Okay, let's think about that. So it's not just enough to say you respect someone. You have to show it. You have to show it. It's not just about what we say. Oh, I respect you. Yeah, but how do you talk to me? How do you treat me? You might say, oh, of course I respect school. Yeah, but how do you... Are you careful with the equipment? Are you careful with the computers? Because they don't belong to you, do they? They belong to school. So how do you show your respect? What are some ways we can show respect? Let's think about a couple of, exa of examples to help us think about how we might show respect. I want you to think about at the end of the school day when you go home. Uh, maybe you're, uh, there's an adult waiting for you outside your door or maybe if you're in one of the old years maybe you, you walk home by yourself and as you're going out the door what could you say to your teacher what could you do to show them that you respect them do you think maybe you could say thank you for teaching me today yeah now is that a big thing or a small thing it's quite an easy thing to do isn't it just to say to somebody thank you i appreciate what you've done today maybe when you're in lunch and somebody's helping you get your lunch or serving you your lunch could you say to them thank you for helping me today it's a small thing for you to do to say thank you but it means i've seen what you do and i appreciate it and i respect it I value what you have done for me today. I value that you've come into school to teach me. I value that you've helped me with my lunch. And so we can show that by saying, thank you for helping me. Thank you for teaching me. I think that that would make your teachers and your uh, the other staff at school who help you, I think that would make them feel quite happy and thankful. And yet it's only a small thing. It's a very easy thing for you to do. But imagine if we all were like that. We all were always saying, thank you for helping me today. That would change what it's like to be at our school, wouldn't it? Okay, what about this? That would be a way of showing respect, wouldn't it? What about times when we don't show respect and we don't, because we're selfish, we don't really realize it. So just imagine you've borrowed something from a friend. Maybe you've borrowed their pencil or their ball or, or something and you use it, but because it's not yours, you don't really care very much about it. Or maybe you borrow something from school. You know, you take a book home or you're using something in the classroom that belongs to school. And it's very easy to think, Oh, it can be replaced. It's not mine. And when you come to give it back, it's a bit damaged. The book is a bit torn. The pencil's been snapped. The ball is all dirty and mucky. Whatever it might be. But you haven't noticed because it isn't yours. 
and you don't really value it. And so it might seem like a small thing to you, or it doesn't really matter. But when you give it back to the person or back to the teacher, they are going to be upset, aren't they? Because that was theirs. And you haven't respected it. You haven't respected their property. You haven't respected them. Or when we're around the school building, if we, you know, we decide, I think, things go through our minds, silly ideas like, oh, I'm going to draw on this, I'm going to draw on that wall, I'm going to draw on that table. It doesn't matter. It's not important. It's not important to you. Maybe. But it should be. Because it's important to school. We need to show with our words and our actions that we respect each other and each other's property. You see, disrespect is actually a kind of selfishness. We've said that already, haven't we? Because we all want to be respected. We all want people to treat us well. If we lend somebody something, we want them to be careful with our stuff. But we don't always care enough to respect other people. I want to share with you a verse from the Bible. Uh, you know, I've said this a number of times, haven't I? But that's my job. I love to read the Bible and teach people about Jesus. And in, in one of the Gospels, the Gospels mean good news. There's good news about Jesus. And in one of the, the first Gospels called Matthew, and uh, Jesus is teaching. And in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, he says this, listen. So, whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. What is Jesus saying there? Very simply, Jesus is saying that God says the best way to live is, if you're not sure what to do, treat other people the way you would like to be treated. Do you see? If we all treated each other the way we want to be treated, we'd all treat each other really well, wouldn't we? Because we all want to be treated really well. Whatever you wish others would do to you, that is how you should treat them. I want us to think about that a lot. That's a really helpful way of in any moment going, oh, hang on. How would I want them to treat me? I'd want them to treat me this way. Okay, that's how I'm going to do it. That's how I'm going to do it. You see, why you might be wondering, well, Doug, why does it matter what Jesus says? Maybe it doesn't matter to you. But I think that makes a lot of sense. You see, as I've shared with you, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He made everything and he made us. And he wants us to be filled with his life. He wants us to enjoy good life. And he says, if you want to have a good life, then you need to live my life. You need to join my life. And he's showing us what real human life looks like. We shouldn't be selfish. That's, a, that's, that's not a good way of living. We should be kind and we should respect each other. You see, that's what Jesus did. We'll be thinking a little bit about it, about it next time I do a video assembly. And we're going to talk a bit about Christmas because it's coming up soon, isn't it? But we're going to think about what Jesus did. He came down to the earth and he joined us. He treated us better than we deserve. Um, I have this in my office. It's a crucifix. It's, it's a, a picture of a man on a cross. And it reminds me that that's what Jesus did. He died on the cross for me. He treated me better than I deserve. He comes down and he treats us well. If the Son of God can do this for you and me to save us, then shouldn't we do it for each other? You might not believe in Jesus, but I do. And I want to share with you the things that he taught because I believe that's the best way to live life. I want you to think about how you can respect each other this week. How you can show with your words and your actions that you value other people and value their things. And if you're not sure what to do, just think, well, how would I like them to treat me and do that thing? Guys, you've listened really well. 
as ever and I love spending this time with you and so I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna play the song and if you want to sing along it's a good way of learning our school values and uh, I'll see you next time take care everyone ready let's go See you next time, guys.